Today's video is another special one and it's one that you all requested on Instagram. When the Met Gala came out, I posted a number of my favourite looks on my Instagram stories and asked you all to vote which ones you loved the most. One of the ones that you voted for was the Kim Kardashian West Met Gala look. So over the last few weeks, I've been waiting for the Kim Kardashian West collection to come through to me. It has now arrived and I'm really excited to be creating an everyday version of that makeup look using the collection that I've bought plus also some of my own products to create something wearable for every day. I'm super excited because my friend Sandy is coming over. She's going to be my muse for today. She is an exciting, vibrant, energetic and bubbly young lady. So I'm really excited to get Sandy in today and do this whole look on her. Sandy, thank you for coming on. Thank you so much for having me. I am super excited for doing this makeup look and we've been trying to schedule this for quite some time actually. Yeah. Um, so I'm really glad today we've got our diaries together. I am going to go with creating the base first. So I'm going to be doing corrector, concealer, foundation, mm -hmm. then setting everything with powder and then moving on to your eye area. Great. Let's get started. Good. I'm going to go in with a bit of strobe cream here for MAC and just put that on as a base underneath the foundation so that's what it looks like. So I'm just creating a veil underneath the foundation here and just putting that all across the skin. I'm going to leave the lids out for now because we're going to do a bit more around that area later. So that's the strobe cream on. Next up I'm going to go with the Bobbi Brown Pro Palette. Uh, this has got concealers and foundations in it and I'm also going to use some of the colours to correct um, Sandy's skin, particularly on kind of some of the pigmentation areas, maybe underneath the eye a little bit and uh, just to create a really flawless base. I'm just going to start with the under eye area and I'm also going to use my finger to just pat them. So this is the correcting that I'm doing just to create a really beautiful base. And we've gone with a kind of apricotty sort of orange colour for her corrector. A little bit around this area as well and then just in some of the areas where there are a few red areas. So this is Sandy's correcting done. You can see in her face that there are certain areas where it's a little bit more orange, a bit more apricotty where I've put the kind of colour corrector and now we're going to go in with some concealer and then some foundation. I'm going to use Rimmel London Match Perfection in Classic Ivory all across um, the areas that I've corrected as a concealer. So I've just got that here on my hand and I'm just going to go in and just apply that on top of the corrected areas. And then once we add the foundation, it will just help to marry everything through together. Now Sandy, I know you like a warm kind of look mm -hmm. on your skin, don't you? Yeah, I love like a nice bronzy highlighted face, to be honest. And you always tend to go with a bit more of a warmer foundation as well, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I just really like looking tan and okay. tan and a bronze really. So that's why we've kind of chosen these form of shades for your skin today. I'm going to go in with some of the Face and Body by MAC in C4 and we're going to mix that in with your own foundation, that's right, right? Yeah, which is L'Oreal True Match in the shade Honey. So I've just put some of the product onto my hand and I'm just working that into the skin now with all of the concealing, the correcting done and I'm really lightly sort of just buffing that into the skin and working inwards, taking it outwards. Make sure I'm going down into the neck area as well. I'm going to go in with the excess product just over the lids as well and just use that as a base before I put any of the eye product on. And then we're going to get on with contouring. So that's Sandy's base done, and now we're going to go into contouring. We're going to do some contouring now. I've got the LA Girl uh, contouring that I'm going to be using for this. This is in creamy beige and beautiful bronze, because I know you love a bronzy look, I don't you? I do love a bronzy look. So we're going to do that now, and it's quite a dark shade, 
um, but it's going to really make it pop onto the skin. So let's get started. Let's do it. So I've got both the products here and I'm going to use a brush to kind of mark out the areas that I want to really contour and I'm going to heavily contour today, not because um, Sandy needs it, but more so because this is the kind of look that we're creating today. So I'm just going to get you to turn this way and just line everything out, starting with the forehead. And we're going to do the nose area. We're going to go around the temples. And then for the cheek area, we're just going to go underneath the cheekbone from the top of the ear. We're going to work diagonally in and go halfway. And then slightly underneath the chin area and just a little bit around this area. That's the contouring done for the darker shades areas that we're going to go with. Now we're going to go in with the lighter shade and mark out those areas. So that's the line markers for all the contouring, shading, otherwise known as, and highlighting that we're going to do on the face. I've got a wet beauty sponge here and I'm going to use that to start blending everything through. I'm going to start with the darker areas first. So just remember to blend outwards and upwards because we don't want to drag this down into the lighter shaded area. And just do it softly. With this area, it just kind of creates a really beautiful sort of like contour, like as if it's part of the lid area. And then do the nose as well. With this area, make sure you blend outwards rather than inwards. Otherwise, then you start merging the two colours and shades together. And you actually want there to be a visible kind of difference, but not too strong. Like it's flawlessly blended together. Then I'm going to get a clean brush. This is a brush that I got sent by It Cosmetics. It's a beautiful brush here. And I'm going to just blend everything through so there's no harsh lines. And just to make it look like this is Sandy's actual skin. That's the whole base done. With powder, I'm going to put that on right at the end, not just yet. I'm going to go in and sort of start framing the brows and I'm going to use the Pro HD palette by Freedom. Sandy has the most amazing brows, so there's not much work to do on them, but I still want to make them a little bit more fuller for this kind of look. So the way I'm doing that is by just following and mimicking the way her hair is growing in that direction and just filling in the gaps. I have just given Sandy's face a dusk of powder using the Laura Mercier loose powder and I'm now going to get ready for doing her eyes. I've got the KKW Mario palette. This is how beautiful it looks and I'm going to be creating the eyes using this entire palette for this look. I'm going to be using the Miami shade to create the shape in Sandy's eye around the crease area. So starting from the end, working inwards and creating a frame for the eyes. Just turn this way. And we're going to build it up as we go along. And that's the framing of the eyes done. Next I'm going to go with Albanian as a shade and just intensify into the crease itself the colour and the framing and just blend that through. That's one I've done. I'm going to go in with Loyalty at the end and just kind of close in and the framing around the eye area. I'm going with Decade and I'm going to put that into the inside of the eye coming into the lid area and again on the other side so that's the eyes done I'm going to add some finishing touches to that now um, more so the shimmer areas I'm taking 2008 
in the palette and I'm adding it onto the lid area and the other eye. And I'm just going to blend that through with the rest of the colours. I've got the Bobbi Brown eyeliner here in black. I'm going to add that to the lid area right near the waterline on the upper side of the eye. Starting from the middle of the eye and working outwards. The reason that we're putting this eyeliner on in black is really just to frame the eyelash going on and just to give it a little bit more depth when the eyelash does go onto the eyes and just make it a little bit more fuller. It's not necessarily for us to create a black winged liner because the actual look has a lot of sort of brown tones in it. So I want to kind of stick to that as kind of like the basis of the makeup, but just use the black to sort of amplify the waterline area and the eyelash as well. Now for the second eye, starting from the middle again, working outwards and then from the inside. I'm going to use the I Know um, Exaggerate Eyelashes in 141. These I Know are a favourite of yours, aren't they, Sandy? Yeah, they do. They're my go-to lash. <laughs> so we're going to put these on now. And actually, we want the lash as full as can be. So we're not going to cut anything off of it because it kind of fits um, Sandy's eyes perfectly. So I've just used the glue that comes in the packaging. And I'm just giving that 30 seconds to dry before I put the lash on. So just look here for me. That's the first lash done. We're going in with the Scandal Eyes Eyeliner by Rimmel London in the waterline. So that's the eyeliner in the waterline area on the bottom and also the top. We're now going to go back in with the palette and we're going to give the bottom of the eye more depth with the brown kind of uh, framing that we've done at the top of the eye and just create that on the bottom as well. So I'm working from the end of the eye and going inwards. Now going in with the Albanian, just to give it a little bit more depth. And I'm putting this as close as I possibly can to the waterline. I'm going to build this up as I go along. I'm going to go in with this matte palette. This is to help just sculpt and define the contouring that we've already done. Um, and create a little bit of shimmer in um, the upper area for uh, Sandy's contour, just to give it a little bit more of an oomph into the actual overall look. So I'm just taking the darker shade now and just brushing it upwards. Sandy loves this L'Oreal blush, it's called Peach Addict, so I'm going to add that into the base because it actually complements the overall look as well. And Sandy, these are kind of colours that you'd wear on a night out, right? Yeah, totally. So, Definitely. I wear this blusher on like a daily basis. Okay, so this really complements the overall look, so we're going to add that on now. And the other side. Now this is the Iridescent which came in the, um, the palette pack that I got for from KKW. And I'm going to put this onto the lids now. Literally got some on my hand here and I'm going to scoop it up and then just press it onto the top part. So it just creates a glossy finish, almost wet look, and to make it pop against the makeup. That's the first eye done. Be close. And now the second eye, just turn here. That's the second eye done. We're going to go with the KKW Beauty Lip Liner and I'm just going to put that all across the lips. This is totally something that I would wear as a lip liner and also a lipstick. And now for the Nude 2 lipstick. Do pretty look pretty amazing in it. I'm going to add in Oh My Gloss by Rimmel London into the centre of the lips just to get it a bit of a gloss and a pop. Oh, I love it. I feel like Kim K. <laughs> <laughs> So 
that's the final look. Um, a wearable version of the Kim Kardashian West Met Gala look from 2013, inspired by Mario. We love Mario. We love him.